Hi there, my name is Power. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you a new feature of Maya 2022. It can create pipelines in Maya easily and quickly. Currently, Maya has the following ways to create pipelines. The first way, we can use the plugin cable to create pipelines. It is more convenient and faster than Maya default way. But it also has some disadvantages. It can only create circular pipes. Because it is a plugin, it is restricted by Maya version. And its model is Pentefact, not Polygon. Before rendering, you need to convert the model to the Polygon first. Of course, it is very convenient to modify. The second way we can use the Maya default function, for example, we can use the surface extrude to create pipes. We select circle and path, then extrude. We set some attributes and set output geometry to the polygon. The disadvantage is obvious. We can directly modify the normal spans of pipeline. We must rebuild the path. Of course, we can use polygon extrude function to extrude the profile. We need to select the profile first, then the path. Oops. The result is bad. If we need to fix it, we must move the profile to the path start or end. Meanwhile, we need to orient the profile to the path's direction. Then we select the profile's face and the path. Use the extrude to create the model. See, the result is correct. But this way is very inconvenient. The last way, I highly recommend Maya 2022 new feature, Sweep Mesh. We select a path first, then use Sweep Mesh function. We can see a pipeline created. Let's browse the Sweep Mesh attributes. Sweep profiles has six types. Have poly, rectangle, line, arc, and wave. The last type is customer. Customer type can choose cover object. We can choose poly object. And we can choose poly face. Also can choose poly age. The poly have two types, circle and star. We can choose circle profile or star profile. Change size number and inner radius. You can select cape function. So the profile is covered. Next is distribution. You can use this function to distribute the numbers of instances. You can change the numbers of instances. Scale instances and rotate instances. Change the coverage. You can use alignment. Check the align. You can align horizontal to the left or right. Or you can use vertical to align to top and button. Or you can offset the parameter. Transformation includes scale profile, rotate profile, twist and tape. We scale the profile. You can rotate profile and twist. 
You can use taper to change profile's radius. Taper cover can get more control on taper. Like this, you can taper both ends. This parameter is interpolation. It has some mode. You can use interpolation to adjust number of spam. If you check the optimize, you can reduce the polygon's faces. In the normal part, you can check reverse to reverse the polygon's normal. If you change the smooth thing parameter to a low value, you can see the polygon face become very hardened. We change it to a high value, we can see polygon face become more soft. We can use UV part to create pipes UV. Create UVs has three types. We like to choose unfold because this type can automatically create a good UV. Another type is none. This type can create empty UV. The last type is uniform. Next, I can show you how to use Sweep Mesh to build a bridge. We select path and use Sweep Mesh. Change the type to Custom. We choose Poly Object. You can see the bridge floor is created. We translate the bridge floor to the top. The bridge floor is too wide. We can scale the profile. Now we can use Maya Mesh to create bridge peer instancer. We open the mesh attributes. We need to add a cover node. Open the outline. We assign the path to the input covers. We switch to distribute and change distance x to 0. Switch to mesh cover. Change the step value to 1. We can see the peer direction is incorrect. We need to rotate the peer 90 degrees. So we need to add a offset node. Switch to mesh offset. We change offset rotation y to 90 degrees. Perfect. If you like my video, please share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.